the pandemic. Just over half of America's population is now fully vaccinated, but that is not enough to hold off the new surge in cases. Hospitals along the Gulf Coast states are filling up as Americans continue to debate the merits of masks and vaccines. And Janae is right here in Times Square with the very latest. Janae, good morning to you. Hey, Dan, good morning. In the last week, the U.S. reporting its fourth straight day of over 100,000 new COVID cases. For many communities, this is deja vu. Health experts warning some hospitals are on the verge of collapse and the push to vaccinate continues. This morning, in a major surge through the Deep South and the Gulf Coast, the contagious Delta variant leading to more hospitalizations and death, nearly all among the unvaccinated. Like, I can't believe we're doing this again. One of those hard hit states, Florida, reporting a new pandemic record for number of cases, 23,000 new cases on Friday as the state sees these long lines at testing sites and a critical need for hospital beds. What we need to do is flatten that curve again because we are getting patients at a higher rate and faster rate. But doctors there also warning the rising number of pediatric patients has caught them by surprise. Children left to battle COVID alone in the hospital. It does put an undue uh, social stress uh, on the child. As you can imagine, a child needs their, their parents here. In Florida, more children are in the hospital with COVID-19 than anywhere else in the country. With cases rising in children, communities nationwide now grappling with school masking policies. Hundreds of cases reported at school districts in the Atlanta area. ABC affiliate WSB speaking with a mom in a county that had to quarantine its students after an outbreak. They said your children are here. They cannot go to the classes because they were exposed to COVID. Across the country, as more Americans are choosing to get vaccinated, Latissa McLean, a North Carolina health care worker, hopes her experience encourages the undecided to get the shot. The only thing is when you're trying to catch your breath and you cannot breathe. Despite working on the front lines, she'd chosen not to get vaccinated. COVID nearly killed her. I should have got vaccinated. And now I'm putting my family through this for something that I could have prevented. And states with some of the lowest levels of vaccination, again, many of those Gulf Coast states, Louisiana, Florida, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Alabama, have seen recent increases in first doses. And across the country, we are seeing an increase in vaccinations. Eva. Hey, Norman Forrest there. Her regret so hard to watch. Joining us now is ABC News medical contributor Dr. Darren Sutton. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Uh, we heard in Janae's piece, you know, hospitals across the country are seeing surges, places like Texas, Florida, Louisiana. They're also seeing staffing shortages. What are you seeing where you are in L.A.? Are there enough people to do the job there? Are you worried that that might not be the case soon? Well, good morning, Eva. Uh, you know, the issue is nursing. Across the United States, including here in California, nursing shortages are causing delays in care and they increase the risk of medical error. And as you know, nurses are the backbone of our healthcare industry. And when I talk to nurses about their experiences and reasons why, uh, many are expressing that they're feeling exhausted, uh, unappreciated, and tired, to be quite honest. And it seems to be the driving factors behind when, why many are leaving bedside nursing. So hopefully we'll be able to fix this, but it, it is quite difficult to uh, fix staffing shortages because nurses are highly skilled and the training takes significant amount of time. You're on the front lines. You're there in the ER. I'm curious what you're seeing. Who's making up the majority of these COVID patients that are coming in? Young people, old people, vaccinated, unvaccinated? Well, the majority of my patients right now are unvaccinated, under the age of 50, and predominantly people of color as the disparities that we identified early on in the pandemic seem to be persisting. What are a lot of those COVID patients saying to you that haven't gotten the vaccine? We saw that woman in Janae's story. Uh, very similar to that woman in Janae's story, to be honest. Uh, a lot of patients are re re expressing regret and shame about their decisions. And a lot of patients are also expressing a lot of guilt, as uh, my patients who are young parents uh, unknowingly transmitted to their children, and my other patients unknowingly transmitted to vulnerable family members. And so I try to help them, re I will help remind them that it's an opportunity to call their family members and their friends who are still hesitant to try to get them to understand the severity of this disease. 
A lot of medical personnel have been saying this new wave is, is causing PTSD for them. What do you want people to understand about this virus and what it's like for you as doctors and also your colleagues, nurses that are there on the front lines? Well, I, I want them to understand, number one, I'm tired, but I have not lost hope as we've been seeing vaccination rates increase. If people can understand one thing is that it's not a question of if you'll be exposed to this virus, it's a question of when. And when you're exposed, you want to have the highest level of protection possible, and you get that protection by getting vaccinated. And remember, it's never too late to get vaccinated. Dr. Darren Sutton, we always appreciate you waking up with us. Have a good day. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.